So two videos ago, we have learned how to create a drop down value list to select value from. And in this tutorial, we are going to go one step deeper. We're going to be learning two things. First, we are going to learn how to create a dynamic value list that automatically extends its value selection based on what the user entered in the database. And second, we are going to be learning how to create a conditional value list that will automatically filter out the right data for you based on what you have selected in another field. Coming up. What's up everybody, my name is Sunny Chu. Welcome to another FileMaker beginner tutorial. This channel is all about creating beginner friendly FileMaker tutorials so that you can apply this software to your business, automate the work and saving you time in the process. So let's take a quick look at today's exercise file. In case this is your first time here, you can download the exercise file in the link in the description down below. And so let's get into the database. This is a very simple two table database we have in here. Now the first database we have, it's a um, table of product. In this product catalog table, we have two main fields. The first one is the product, the second one is the category. For the product, it shows different items that we can sell. In our case, we are acting as if we are in the Apple store and we are selling an iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 7. And on the left side, there is the category field, which is a field that shows uh, what type of product is this particular product belongs to. So is it a phone, is it a computer, or is it other accessories? And this is the first table. Let's go to the second table. Now in this second table, we have um, order customer order list that we can um, we can create a customer order for each new customer. So in here, we can uh, create a new customer and then type in his name. So let's say um, Mary Jane, and then we can choose the category of the product they want, and then choose the item that they need. First, we're gonna start by creating a dynamic value list. So it basically means that a value list that will increase itself whenever you enter a new value in another table. So remember back in um, two episodes ago, in episode number six, we were discussing about input methods and there were one thing called drop down list and uh, the value list. And in that tutorial, we have created a value list using a set of value that we enter into it. But this time, we want that value list to be um, automatically increasing, increasing the different variety of values based on another table. So what that means is that when we, when we go to a product and add a new product here, let's say I add an iPhone 8 and the category is phone, we should automatically see this new value onto our value list. So how do we do that? First, we're going to go to um, layout mode, clicking view, layout mode, and then we are going to go to click on the item, go to inspector and go to the fourth tab, so the database tab. And then like we did last time, we are going to choose a drop down list for our product. We are going to create a value list like last time again, value from, we're going to click on this button and create a new value list. So let's call this a dynamic uh, product list. And last time we have added the product in this field here. So last time we did something like this, iPhone A, we have to add everything in ourselves. But this time we're gonna do something different. We are going to click on use value from field. So in this place here is where we select what type of value we want this value list to take from. Remember the product table that we had just now? So we're gonna choose the product here, and then we're gonna choose the product field in the product table. And we're gonna click OK, and click OK again. And that's it, that's how you create a dynamic value list. Let's see what happens. So if I go to view, browse mode, and when I click onto item, you will see that although I haven't entered every single value, it automatically populates this database with the value on the other table. So the, let's go to the product table. It's everything in here. So let's say if we add a nine iPhone um, I, nine, I mean, iPhone nine, 
and then mark this as the phone. Go back to the original layout and then choose from the item. And you will see that iPhone 9 is automatically placed it into this value list. So this is very handy when you have um, when you have another table that is the user driven and they're adding more and more value into it. So that it allows you to um, not needing your user to know FileMaker and go to the layout mode and do all the value list changes. So they can just, all they need to know is just go to product table, add a new product here, and then the value will automatically be shown on this side. So that is the first step. And the second thing we want to do is to create another dynamic value list for the category. So we are going to go back to layout mode again by clicking view layout mode and then click on to category. And then this time we are going to create another drop down that uses a new value list. So we are going to click on new. Let's call this dynamic um, category list. And then like just now, we're going to use click value from view. And we're going to go to product, the product table. And we're going to use whatever value that has been inputted in the category field before. So we're going to click OK, click OK again, OK the third time. Now this is set. So I am going to go back to view, browse mode, and see here. So now we have accessories, computer, and phone that we can choose from. Now you will notice that even if I select accessories, um, these uh, item will not change to only the accessories item. Or if I change to phone, it will still show me the full list on the item. So this is where we want to use a conditional value list. We want it so that um, when we, let's say we click on computer, it will only show the value that is related to computer. For example, Mac mini, Mac Pro, MacBook Air, and MacBook Pro. So the first thing we want to do is to set up a relationship between the category field in this table here, in the order table, as well as the category field in the phone table. So we want to let the computer know that when this category field matches the other category in the product table, then you will change this value list in the item. So to do that, we, uh, we have to we have to do a few steps. The first step is to set up the relationship. So we are going to go to file and manage database. We have a very we have a very simple relationship set up without any use of ID. So in the order, we have a text field called category. And in the product, we also have another category field being shown. So all I need to do is that I connect the categories together so that it indicates to the computer that whenever the category field in my order table matches the one in the product table, then it will be a related record. So I click on to OK. And then this is the first step. The next step, we have to change it so that the item list, it's now dependent on the relationship of the category. So I'm going to go to layout mode again, view, layout mode, click on do this, and we're going to change our dynamic product list. So I am just going to create a new list and name it conditional value list, um, conditional value list for product. And we are going to choose use value from again. Same as before, we are going to go to a product and choose the product. So everything looks the same right until now. So instead of uh, using include all values, that means it will use every value in the product table. This time we want to include only the related value starting from the order table. So this is the place where it indicates to the computer that I only want to show the product record that is related to the category I selected in the order table. So once you check that and check starting from the order table, click OK, click OK again, and then let's see what happens. We're going to go to uh, view, browse mode, and this time I'm going to try Tom Smith, choose phone, 
and automatically you will see that the item is now limited by only phone and if I choose computer it will only show MacBook, Mac Mini, Mac Pro and when I choose accessories it will only show Bluetooth headphones and all that so that's basically how you create a conditional value list in FileMaker the benefit of a conditional value list is that you can limit a very large size of data into a much smaller selection. For example, let's say if you have 400 items. So when you click onto this item here, the drop down will be very long and it will be very hard to manage for the end user. But if you have a conditional value list in place, then you can choose a category first and then it will limit your list to a much smaller and more manageable size. So it's very good for speeding up your data entry process within your business. And if you'd like to learn more about FileMaker and how you can apply these little tips and tricks into your business to automate and smooth out your work, I would highly recommend you to go and check out my channel. I've already got a few videos in place and we'll be posting regularly as well on Friday. So if you don't want to miss out, just hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.